so as we look at ourselves, we look at what we want to do. People say, I want to make a difference. They, they poll several people over age 95 and ask them, if you had your life to live over again, what would you do differently? Here's what they said. I would spend more time reflecting. Just thinking about my life and, and thinking about what is it I want, thinking about what is it that gives my life a sense of value. See, as you look at your life, that, that what we have to do is start thinking that most of us are going on automatic. We don't think as often as we should. We do things unconsciously. And that if you have goals that you want to achieve, there are things that you want to do, you want to make a difference in your life, you've got to now start reflecting. Here's something else the other people said said they would take more risk. They would go outside of their comfort zone. They'd take more chances. They'd do some things that used to intimidate them, things that, that they found challenging, things different. They would live a life of adventure. See, a lot of people are not living up to their true potential because a lot of people go through life playing it safe holding back on themselves. See, here's what I discovered. There's no safe position in life. Did you know that? There's no safe position in life. You can't get out of life alive. You're gonna die anyhow. <laughs> but most people, ladies and gentlemen, earn a living, raise a family, and then they die. There are people who, who are just breathing corpses. The person said that many people die at age 21 and don't get buried until they're 65. These are people that when they died because their lack of contribution was so minuscule, their, their contribution was so minuscule, no one will miss them. Here's the other thing that they said. They wanted to leave a legacy. They wanted to make a contribution to life. That not only would they reflect more and take risk, but they said that they would leave something that will live on after they're dead. 